welcome back, Patriots. These two people, uh, why the one guy uh, I started out talking to, he's a uh, studio singer, club singer from Hollywood, California. <clears throat> he's uh, appeared on many records and whatnot. But the lady you just met, uh, I, I'm from there also, seems to be very much into the spiritualism of things. And she says some things that, well, I can't discount. What this woman talks about is, uh, you know, in her meditations is that we're in this last, the sixth extinction and that we've got about eight to 12 years, which you understand feeds in with what Cortez said, but understanding what Cortez said was basically, basically projecting what a lot of uh, people that study this stuff already understand. I mean, just the numbers. I, I mean, I'm just talking to scientists that, uh, that study the demographics and the numbers. And the, the trajectories of where we're going. Life as we have known it cannot sustain, uh, sustain itself as, as it has been. There's going to be a correction. It's inevitable. Uh, we've had them before. So there's no reason to believe we wouldn't have them again. So I don't know. That's about as, about as deep as I'm going to get on this one. You can listen to her. Check out some of the sites that she uh, lays out here and some of the recommendations. I don't have a lot of time to go to all of them. So, you know, you guys go to them, check them out, and report back what you find and whatnot. I pretty much know already uh, we're over the cliff. We just haven't hit rock bottom yet. Anyway, on that cherry note, I want to say God bless you, and let's get to this uh, this 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 clip. And before we uh, before we expire, if you got any extra money laying around, throw it at me, will you? Thanks. See you later. I work uh, to awaken uh, like a lot of uh, young students from America and also people. So I love this because I'm all for this, you know. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Like it's like yeah. I've been like I created a group like a like an online group, and I'm kind of sending all those like nonsense. You know, have you heard like seen this like a website called Wake Up World? Wake, Wake Up, up World? World. Yeah, you yeah. should definitely see it. Wake Up World. And there is a categories of health and other things where we are like, you know, actually like talk a lot about this uh, stuff here about the vaccines and Wonderful. all these things. And yeah, and there is, a, I know like coming here uh, to America, I'm looking from a lens of like whether we will live or not because our planet, we are in the sixth mass extinction. You know that, right? Yes. Yeah, so I, I couldn't believe that I had a hope, but I think I don't have a hope anymore now seeing all these things that's going on here like... There's something I got, became aware of yesterday that was very disturbing to me. There's a fungus. Have you heard about this fungus? Fungus? No. no. What's that? Yeah, it's a fungus that it allegedly is a derived from the agricultural industry that, uh -huh. you know, because of what we put into uh -huh. that and foods. Uh -huh. That's spreading throughout the hospitals now, wow. and they can't kill it. Kill it. And it's oh. got up to an 88% kill ratio. Wow. The only thing that kills it is is sunlight. Oh. But once it's in the rooms, oh, yeah. it, they can't get, they can't spray hydrogen peroxide on it. Yeah. Nothing kills it. Kills it. So anybody in the hospital that contacts it is in risk. Oh. Wow. And, yeah, but they're not. You don't hear about it because they haven't got a cure for it. If they had a cure for it, yeah. we'd be hearing about it because they, they yeah. the cure costs five thousand dollars here. Yeah. You know, the WHO will patent it. You know, the cure will they will patent it and sell it to us. Yes, that's what they did for that. Like I don't know, it was some Indonesian something was there that WHO did that took that virus and made some vaccine against it. All this thing, you know, it's a bullshit thing that's going on here. Yes, and there's this like a beautiful documentary I show to my students. And like I'm planning to show it to a lot of people is like this is a 
documentary by the Israeli man. He's the wonderful, like, it deconstructs the whole aspect of Darwinian theory, you know. There's so much a cooperation in the media. It? It's called, like, a, a crossroads labor pain of a new worldview. You should definitely see this in the, like, online. Yeah. Yes. Wake up world and the crossroads labor pains of a new worldview. You should see that. And, and if you would like to encourage young people, they should read this book, uh, The Rebel by Osho. That's what you have to be, you know, you have to go to that level because we, we won't live long because it may be like 8 to 12 years from now. So I have got, I, I am a big meditator, so I have like, uh, I communicate with the universe. Uh, this is something is there, so people will die of fear and shock. See, this is how That's we how win. It is. It's through our own communications. Yeah. Because these guys are not going to tell us. Tell us, yeah. So this is what yeah. it is. So this is how yeah. things has been. So. So we have to get as many people yeah. aware yeah. into the fall. The young as students possible. who come to our program, like you're doomed. You're doomed. It's like you have, yeah. your ancestors have like got us into this catastrophic land. You're doomed. You don't have an answer now. What you want to uh, become when you grow up, you know? Yes. So this all. All these things are all like a politicalized vaccines as well. Yes. So that's why like most of the things that I understood with my own journey is like, you know, you can heal without the pharmaceutical companies. Yes. You can heal without the medical companies, yes. medical doctors. Yes. Your body is so intelligent, yes. you know. There are so alternative, like, you they know, food is the best. all yeah. of the natural. Yeah, absolutely. They hide it all from yeah, Very interesting, like, all these things that's like, it's, it's, it's yeah. So I'm, I'm always like try to like do a surgery of people's worldview, how we have been told about the world, what we have been told about ourselves, what we have been told about our body. It's like all this is the like they just want a profit over you and they see you as a thing, any plant. They see you as they, oh, can we make oil out of it? Can we? There is something with the plant, you know. It has to like also needs for its like a species survival, you know. So, right. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, it's like good. God bless you for yeah. being so aware. Yeah. You know what? I just met this woman this like four hours ago. Yeah. Oh, you so did. She's, she's, obviously, you're drawing green good people. I, yeah. oh, I, I tend to open you myself. You should read to like a Vandana Shiva. Have you heard of her? Who? Vandana Shiva. You should read her, Vandana Shiva. Okay. She like fights against this corporation like Monsanto, and there is this new thing that's coming up here. Is now they are uh, will do an agriculture through a drone, a drone agriculture, and where they will put the chip in those technology they are going to sell in the countries. And when you like, you know, plow the land in the developing countries, then they will have all the data of the soil and the climate, and which will be like kind of centralized by Monsanto because oh, Monsanto yes, is now yes, merged with uh, yes, yes, yes. Cargill. So you know, then they will kind of sell this to us and farmers and fool us again. You know, so we have to really be uh, like understand that they are fooling us all the time. I think people are becoming yeah. more and more aware. Yeah. I think. Uh, do you yeah. see an awakening? Yeah, I see that a lot of people are getting awakening. Yeah. I see that with my, all of my students, like six to seven people, they come to the program, nine people, they're understanding that like, this is all bullshit that they are like teaching us and they want to like create something different, you know. But I'm also in my journey to create my own alternatives. I'm here to awaken the humanity. So that's what I'm going to do a lot when I go back from here. So let's see how it goes, you know. But I, that's why I you. kind of stopped well, here. Well, here's a uh, get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. Oh my God. This is uh, good for any crime in the world. <laughs> And you got my YouTube channel website on the back. Oh, and look at what this is. That's nice. I would like to get this. And definitely, you're going to be on my YouTube channel. I definitely sure. want to okay. let people know what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. You're yeah. doing wonderful. Thank you. I think this is uh, wonderful for me to see. You know, you're doing something nice. You know. Maybe I hope so. Are. I'm trying to like you, make people aware, get people to talk, talk. Uh, and uh, uh, you know. You got to listen and talk. Yes. Yeah. But I like to listen. Yes. I think that's, I'm open that's, that's the big part of the whole conversation is listening. Not enough people do that part. Yeah. I got plenty of opinions, but you don't want to hear them. <laughs> oh, no, I'd love to, but I'd love to hear your opinions. That's why I'm out here doing too. I don't consider myself the star out here. It's the people I meet that, to me, are yeah. the stars yeah. here, you know. So I, I would like to take a picture with you because I want to present this with my sure. students. Sure, absolutely. All the way, or just I want half, like, but this one should come because I have to tell my spark my students there. Okay, I got the whole thing. Oh. Thank you. Remember, I always check any picture I take. Okay? Sure, thank you. Yeah.
Well, thank you. So nice to meet you. Pleasure. Lovely. Yeah. Send me your information so yeah, I can I, go to I your like site and your yeah. schools here, what I, you're I doing, and promote it. I'll do that, yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Enjoy, guys. Start meditating. We don't have much time. 8 to 12 years. I hear that. God bless. Can I make a donation and get a photo with your sure. handsome self? Of course. I'm going to take that all the way back to Canada and say, you got to go to New Orleans and see this guy right. here. Hey, I'll run for your lives. We're all going to die. Yeah, they're all going to die eventually someday. So, in the meantime, I have a big question, of course. My big question is always the big why. Why? Why are we alive? Why any of this? At any rate, <laughs> for spin off, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, if you can, throw some money at me. God bless you. See you later.